If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hey Photos family, how do you design a photograph? Well, in our, our video discussing photo design, we talked a little bit about the practical design issues, but that didn't really answer the how. I mean, it gave us some ideas of what to do, but how do you design a photograph? Personally, start out with a location or a background in mind. I have to, in my mind, set the atmosphere of the photograph. When I know the atmosphere of the photograph, then I can place design, create the setting of my subject, whether it's a baseball, a moth, uh, a portrait. I need very much to have the atmosphere in place. And so that's where I would suggest you start. Uh, I have to create everything where there is a background, where there is foreground, from left to right, uh, side to side of the photo frame. But I also have to make sure that that atmosphere completely fills out my frame. If I take a picture of my subject in an atmosphere that doesn't fill out side to side, then I'm gonna have to crop in my photo. And that's not really what I wanna do. I wanna have all of my frame available so that I can, if needing to crop, I can come and create the ratios that I want of having something a lot wider and narrower in height, or I can have something more square cutting off the sides, but I wanna have that full frame background flexibility. Now, once you have your atmosphere in mind, you can start creating the frame of your photograph, whether it be a tree over here and uh, foreground bush leaves over here or whatever the case may be so that the space around your viewer is not um, unused blank space. Some professionals let's say uh, like marketing would call that white space because that would be empty space where text could be placed or um, brand uh, of a product. So if your purpose in this photograph is not to have that much white space then you're gonna want to have something placed there that draws the attention away from that white space to your subject. Leading lines are great for that. And we have a video that we discussed leading lines. I would really like to be able to shoot an additional photograph to show you what placing a, a leading line in a photograph is like that. So I will put that on my list of video later. But that's really how to design a photograph, is to create your environment to fill your frame. When you fill your frame and you decide where you want to place your subject, whether that be a baseball or a basketball or, or uh, a product for advertising purposes, or it could be a, a portrait, a person that you're taking an image of, once you've decided where that subject is being placed, now, you can create those leading lines, those uh, prop setups, the assistants, let's, let's call it the props, a lot of people will call them, so that they are leading your viewer's focus to that subject. That is how to design a photograph. Once you get your atmosphere in place, you know where your subject is going and you create all of those supports that lead your viewers eyes to the subject. Now you have set up the subject as being the principal focus and now it's all on how you execute that photograph you've designed with your ISO, your shutter speed, the focus aspects in your aperture and your composition. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing your comments. Give us a thumbs up so that other people can watch this video as well and if you're not yet a subscriber we would love to have your subscription add you to our Photos family. God bless.